everybody this is me Simba1984 and I actually got a new screen recorder and I'll be using that app from now on so I don't have to film in in live action and I had finally seen Jurassic World Dominion back in Saturday and I can safely confirm that the Lost World Jurassic Park is still the best Jurassic Park sequel Jurassic World is the best Jurassic World movie Dinosaur 2000 is still the most underrated dinosaur movie and Fallen Kingdom is no longer my least favorite Jurassic Park movie or the worst Jurassic Park movie anymore. Because goddamn Dominion was so terrible. Like, seriously. Dominion was such an awful movie. And unlike the previous movies, it's just... This movie doesn't make you feel anything. It just makes you feel bored. Like, I kid you not, the movie is just boring. And I'll tell you why it's boring later on. But let's get into the two main stuff of one makes... A bad movie a bad movie the characters are just so bad Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard's characters are are just as uninteresting as in the last movie and and the clone girl is still hateable like in the last movie and even the and the new characters are just bad Heck, even the original trio is not that great. The only one, the only character I liked was Ian Malcolm. Yes, Alan Grant and Al Sadler were not, were handled poorly in the movie. Like, seriously. Ian Malcolm was the only one I liked in the movie. And, and the, and the villain was Louis Dachshund. Well, it doesn't, well, it actually, it doesn't really bother me that he's the villain. Because Louis Dachshund was the main was the main villain in the Lost World novel. What really irks me is how he was handled. He was treated as this generic greedy guy and unlike the previous Jurassic World villains, he doesn't even go after the heroes who are trying to stop him. He just tries to escape and then gets killed by the Dilophosaurus. Spoiler warning by the way. The, spe the special fix is actually the best looking in the Jurassic World series. Even if it, it's still not good, but it's definitely better than the last two movies. I mean, there's still the CGI, but at least with this movie, there's now more use of animatronics, which made the first two Jurassic Park movies special. And that's basically about it. Also, the soundtrack is just not good. It's so unli it's unlistenable. It's not that great to listen to. Seriously, all all previous all five previous Dress Park movies had had catchy soundtracks. This one on the other hand doesn't have that. And that's what fa what this movie failed about. And the story is just once again very boring. Like seriously, it's just very boring. But now I got all that stuff in a way. What about the dinosaurs? They're they're the ones that we see. They must be the best part, right? Well, they are, but there's a problem. They're not in the movie that much. Yeah, you think that a movie like like this, which has dinosaurs on every continent, you think that they show more of the dinosaurs, but nope. Nope. They're barely, they're barely shown in the movie at all. They only make quick cameos, and that's basically about it. Basically, yeah, and and the new species of dinosaurs like the Atrociraptors, the Dreadnoughtus, the Dimetrodon, the Therizinosaurus, Quetzalcoatlus, and Giganosaurus were wasted because they barely got any screen time at all. They had no purpose in the movie. I'll get, but I'll get to the Giga later, and and Rexy, like in the previous Jurassic World movies, is also non-existent. She barely appears in the movie. Ever since Jurassic Park 3, I will admit one thing. The Jura the, the Jur Universal has done the done their the T-Rex pretty dirty. The T-Rex is basically the mascot of the Jurassic Park franchise. But here's the thing, I actually say the Jurassic World movies had actually treated the T-Rex a lot worse than in JP3. Because the T-Rex, or, or Rexy, barely appears in the movie. She's no longer an antagon 
They're no longer the antagonistic creatures that you've always imagined. They're now just there as Dex's ex Manchena things. Blue, who was vital in the first two movies, is also absent. She only appears at the beginning and at the end. And it's her daughter, Beta, that we have to sit through. And... And of... And then, we have the Gigan... The Giganotosaurus. Which... Which was a wasted villain. The Giganotosaurus barely appeared in the movie. It wasn't even terrifying. St Dinosaur... Previous Jurassic Park villains like the Spinosaurus, Indominus Rex, the Indoraptor, and the Scorpius Rex were, were, were more terrifying than, than the Giganotosaurus because they, because they did a lot more stuff than the Giga did. They actually were out there killing people and dinosaurs alike. The Giga does none of that. It just bites Rex's upper snout and then picks up a deer tries to eat our main characters and that's it if the, and there's one thing one thing i really hate about the jurassic world movies is that is that barely of the of the good guys are killed off it's always the villains that are killed in the original jurassic park trilogy there were all any type of character would die whether it be a a good guy or a bad guy or, or a hero or villain they would still be killed by the dinosaurs. That's what makes the original trilogy so gruesome with their human kills. But let's go to the biggest problem of the movie. The threat is not the dinosaurs, but locusts. Yes. Genetically modified locusts that were fed by biosyn seeds. And they basically... Sh overshadow the dinosaurs and they're the main focus of the movie yes despite this movie being about fucking dinosaurs so yeah Jurassic World Dominion is easily the worst Jurassic Park movie ever <clears throat> because of one big thing it's just sheer boredom People complain about Dinosaur 2000 for being sheer boredom, but they're wrong. There's a lot of emotion in that movie. This one, this movie had none of that. <clears throat> also, back to the Giganosaurus. I personally wouldn't have, I personally wouldn't have had it in the Biosyn Valley at first. I would actually have it going through towns and actually killing people like all four dinosaur villains in the franchise. <clears throat> that would have made it terrifying. And then once in the Biosyn Valley, it starts killing other dinosaurs. And the reason why it's doing this is because it was tragic. Because in my. Because it should have been tragically abused. But no, it's just there. So, anyways. Wouldn't it, oh, oh wait, wouldn't it be very terrifying if the Gigan, if the Giganosaurus, uh, Giganosaurus actually attacks us, attacks a local town where, where it attacks a school filled with children at first, and then, and then later on it kills, it kills the children, kills any children, attacks other people and destroys buildings, and would, and what would make the scene even more terrifying is that there would be. Tribal prehistoric music playing over while the Giga Notosaurus is doing all the chaos. I think that scene would have haunted me in my nightmares. But unfortunately, that never happened. So yeah. Jurassic World Dominion is just sheer boredom. At least with the previous Jurassic Park sequels, I at least felt I at least had a great time. With the Lost World Jurassic Park, I at least, I at least feel felt unique while watching JP3. I at least felt entertained with Jurassic World. Heck, I at least felt something while watching Fallen Kingdom, and that was just sheer anger. This one, this is just boring. So yeah, I officially consider this the worst Jurassic Park movie, and it gets a three out of ten stars. If you like the movie, that's fine. But 
just respect my opinion. But if, but if you like the movie so much that you love it a lot, and you, and you're a toxic fanboy who wants to attack anybody who doesn't like the movie, then fuck off and don't comment here. All right. This is the end. This is the. This is Simba 1994 signing off.